President of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, has announced the country's red lines and threatened to use nuclear weapons if Belarus or Russia is attacked by NATO. Lukashenko thanked Russian leader Vladimir Putin for confirming the use of nuclear weapons in such a situation. If NATO attacks us, we will use nuclear weapons and Russia will support us, he stated. He mentioned that Americans and Poles are gathering along the border, especially with Poland. We know that the Polish leadership is already rubbing their hands in anticipation, he stated. Lukashenko stressed that the state border of Belarus is a red line. If we use nuclear weapons, we may be retaliated against, Russia in particular. Therefore, Russia will use its full arsenal and this could lead to a world war. The West doesn't want that and it isn't ready for it. But we are clear, the red line is the state border. If they cross it, our response will be immediate. We are preparing for this, he said. Besides, Belarusian companies may be linked to sanctioned Iranian arms manufacturing companies. Inform Napalm reported the information citing the activist group cyber.anarchy.squad. Volunteer analysts managed to obtain 700 gigabytes of data from the Belarusian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and related legal entities. An initial analysis of these materials suggests potential collaboration between Belarusian companies and Iranian enterprises that have been sanctioned specifically in connection with the production of weapons from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, according to the statement. In May, the Belarusian concern Belneftekim participated in the Iran Oil Show International Exhibition, where several agreements were established between Belarusian and Iranian companies. Notably, Steklovo Lokno signed a memorandum with Iranian counterparts to supply silica materials valued at 200,000 euros. This fiber is believed to have potential military applications. Interestingly, there are no official mentions of the Iranian side represented by composite Albors available online. Analysts speculate that the name may have been intentionally altered in the documents to obscure illegal activities. There is a strong possibility that Belarusian companies are actually collaborating with Albor's organic materials engineering company, which was recently sanctioned by the US. Albor's organic materials engineering company is accused of supplying strategic materials used in the production of missiles and drones for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Volunteer analysts stress that there is reason to believe the Belarusian company is supplying silica materials to this specific firm, which is part of a network of suppliers to the Iranian military industry. If our suspicions are confirmed, Belarusian petrochemical companies are providing materials to the Iranian military sector, which manufactures missiles and drones. Iran, in turn, transfers these weapons to Russia, which employs them to attack Ukraine. This information leak underscores the critical need for international monitoring and control over the supply of strategic materials, the article states. Ukrainian armed forces have prevented Russian army attacks in the direction of Kupiansk city in Peschanoy district of Kharkiv region. The invaders' attempt to advance towards the Oskol River was unsuccessful. The third, 92nd Assault Brigades and the 77th Airmobile Brigade of the Ukrainian Army managed to stop more than 50 different armored vehicles advancing in the direction of Kolesnikovka and Kruglyakovka villages with artillery and drone strikes. Some 13 tanks, 15 infantry fighting vehicles, 15 armored personnel carriers, 3 Ural brand trucks, 1 UAZ, 1 quad bike, Two armored evacuation vehicles were destroyed by explosions along with their crew members. The equipment abandoned by the fleeing Russian servicemen were destroyed by drones.